right, welcome to a game of Age of Empires 3. The map is Colorado. I'm Inca. The enemy is German, as uh, usual. The usual suspect. Sorry, bad joke. Anyway, we, uh, we're just trying to age here by gathering food, basically. I'm not trying to do the big button thing because I am really unlucky finding uh, coin treasures and I've been that for the last games I've played so I've kind of given up on it and uh, yeah I can say that I've been playing some um, Age of Empires 4 lately and uh, it's been uh, quite enjoyable I think um, there is like a, I mean the setting is nice. I like, I like the Age of Empires 3 setting. I also like the medieval setting of Age of Empires 4. Even the ancient one, Age of Mythology. Played a lot of Age of Mythology. Really spiced things up with the, the myth myth units. Uh, but the uh, Age of Empires 4 definitely pretty good looking I think kind of a they they made like bad like kind of bad the graphics look good in a way and I'm sure they did it to just uh, as many as possible as many people as possible could play it which is good I think in the end I mean if there's a lot of people playing it I think it would be uh, more enjoyable game uh, or at least for the online community and uh, mostly played the uh, the Holy Roman Empire which was uh, pretty strong I think with their uh, uh, castle age or well, the third age um, the third age landmark which uh, it made you so that you could build five military units or yeah, five military units uh, in the time for you to build like one. I think it was only infantry. So you can build like uh, your uh, footmen, spearmen or your... I guess it was some 200, 200 uh, infantry. Like uh, the Landsknechts in AOE 3. I think it's the same unit. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can spam those. And people weren't usually really up for the challenge of the infantry spam. And uh, if you also had upgraded armor against arrows, which every, I mean, every English army was like a fucking death star of uh, longbowmen. So you could really rush them. Um, not like rush them, rush them, but just sacrifice a couple of units and then you got in melee with them and they were really like uh, died really easy anyway back to age of empires 3 i guess uh, so in this game i am um, still a bit like not so used to play Age of Empires 3. Not been playing for uh, for two weeks, I guess. Uh, so my my age up is maybe a bit late. I mean, it's very it's not very optimal. I'm use not using the big button uh, to get four villagers from the, from the Kansha. And um, yeah, right now when I'm I've done the. Done the age up. I'm trying to get as much uh, as much wood as possible, basically, to get the 13 kanchas, uh, so that I will have the passive food income, which is really nice. It's like one of the reasons I play the the Incas, because uh, I mean, it's pretty. It feels good to have a passive income. It's like the Plenty Vault in uh, uh, Asian mythology. I was the lazy, lazy person, uh, god power. Okay, so here I pop the the big button on the Kancha, which will give me four villagers. 
and uh, yeah, and it really lets you. It's really fast actually. So now I have like eleven people on wood. At this time, maybe I should have a market for some wood chopping, but yeah, I didn't think of that. And my explorer is just trying to gather some coin treasures or wood treasures. Yeah, wood treasures is probably what I'm looking for. And also this uh, this deck, I, uh, which is a, bit, it's a greedy one, I'm trying to uh, use a priestess together with uh, like the, da the dancing, the community plaza. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm really using it to the fullest extent. Uh, here I'm trying to uh, to take a forward tambo, or it's like a yeah to kind of make a forward tambo at least. I can see the the enemy, the German players also aged up, and I have the two free uh, war hats from my. Uh, my age up, which I and I place them pretty close to the tambo. The tambo is like a you can it fights back. It's a trade post with a ranged attack, I guess. And I send my uh, my scout to scout a bit. The Chasky, or however you say that, see if he has an army. And. Um, now I'm, yeah, I want that chicha brewing, which increases the the food income from the Kancha houses by, I think it's a hundred percent or fifty percent or something. So it bumps it up to I think it's ninety or zero point nine food per second. So it's like a, a villager, on thirteen villagers on food basically, if you have all the thirteen houses. I'm a bit scared here that they will have already amassed an army, yeah. The Ulans, of course. I should have built some spearmen. Uh, not so bueno. Now I build a few spearmen instead. But he still managed to snatch a villager from me. And, um, yeah, another two Ulans and some crossbowmen. So he's definitely trying to. Mass and army here. His score is looking really healthy. I'm just now starting to get the, f the wood on the, the wood shipment. My scouts died. I have a wolf left at least. But that won't do any good. So now I think I uh, yeah, research uh, the, the poison for the arrows. For the jungle bowmen. And I'm kind of starting to turtle here which is uh, i find it pretty good with uh, inca i find i i can i m can manage to to turtle especially if when you have those uh, canches you can build yourself in like a, you can wall yourself in which is really good and um i mean wall yourself in and you get like your wall is basically a villager working for food, yeah, so it's pretty nice. Uh, but uh, still haven't given up, um, given up uh, hope to have a forward base. Um, so I'm, um, I'm trying my best to amass an army of my own. My, uh, I still have a lot of treasures to collect. I don't know what my, my explorer just hanging about. Some idle veils too. Now I'm, I think I... I don't know if I built a market or a... Uh, no, I probably built the community plaza there. Uh, no, maybe it was the market actually. So I don't have any visual in his army, which is... Pretty scary now. He killed my scout, but I didn't really pay attention. Uh, I should have, because now I'm blind. I, don't, I have no idea what his army is composed of. Uh, and I'm going right now with jungle bowmen and 
uh, the spearman to counter his kind of crossbowman and uh, Ulan. So we shall see what happens. I, I see that my the hunts are pretty badly located for me, so I kind of moves uh, move forward with some villagers. Try to risk it, here he comes. So he has a lot of crossbowmen and ulans, which... I mean, can I, I can counter that, but he has a bigger army. His ulans trying to kill my villagers. I just in time managed to bring them in. Those two. So this is the when I can have like some food production still going without actually... Yeah. I can be idle for a bit. It's forgiving. So I'm trying to micro him, but then I realized I've had some villagers over there, which is not good. But I, I attack his Ulans with my spearmen, which is a good trade for me. And my archers is actually destroying his uh, crossbowmen. So my villagers actually survive, so. Some of them at least. So uh, now I'm a bit uh, like, oh shit, should I push on? And I decide to, uh, to push because I got a batch of uh, spearmen. And I still have a lot of vills on, on, in the town center, which I don't realize. Which is really bad. Uh, I might realize it soon. But I, I'm... Um, yeah, okay, I realize it. Uh, but I'm quite uh, like comf comfortable to attack him now. I think he I beat the bulk of his armor. And here, this is a pretty good engagement for me too. But uh, what I didn't really notice is that he actually aged up to age uh, three. But uh, I'm happily trying to destroy his trade post, maybe pick up some villagers, scout his base a bit. So, okay, so his explorers there. I'm like, okay, whatever, I can get some, get some experience. Kill him. I finally decides to do something useful with my. Oh, yeah, that I got caught out, and I'm. Uh, I can see that he has skirmishers, so I'm kind of scared about that. And he has a lot of skirmishers, so I'm backing off. Um, kind of panic now because I realized, yeah, he's age three. And uh, what do I do? Do I age up? I don't have the gold, and I want to have an army to actually counter him if he has cannons so I built 10 Jima runners and um, I mean so the plan is to like if he yeah comes with a cannon then I could sneak up behind with some Chimus and uh, yeah kill the cannon which would be a good trade uh, and now I'm trying to mass jungle bowmen because they're pretty strong against uh, I mean I, the, like the skirmishers still I don't actually know what to do if, between a jungle bowman and a skirmisher probably they both kill each other here I find two villagers oh and even more stuff got out so this is really good for me he actually did he doesn't, doesn't notice this at all and there's two settler wag wagons as well and uh, I have a town center and uh, and another uh, war hut, uh, but he's coming with uh, he's coming with his army here. And I decide to build my town center pretty defensively. Uh, and his army looks pretty small. But then, more of his units getting line of sight, so I'm kind of scared here. 
But I think I can, maybe I can juke, you know, out, because my words still fire on me. So this is a pretty tough engagement for me. My general bone really drops like flies here, but I got a, some uh, spearmen's. Spearmen, uh, built some spearmen from the huts. But yeah, my army is totally gone now. This is, uh, this is really bad. Um, so now I start to worry. Is this it, I think? I built a war hut uh, further back and now I'm sending my Chimus to, to raid him because uh, I'm, I think uh, maybe that will annoy him. Uh, so yeah, the, the plan now, I feel like there, there's my gold mine as well, so that's not good. Still I have kind of uh, bunkered up a uh, few gold. This is my Shimus, I don't really get any value out of that raid. Yeah, so uh, in this uh, moment of time, I think to myself, what to do? Should I... His army is bigger, and now he has a cannon, so I have to really, really take care here. Uh, I have my Shimus, so I really see the threat of the cannon, and I'm like, okay, let's... Uh, Let's do something sneaky here. Uh, and there's another cannon coming up. So I am um, set to split my chinus. And uh, I'm gonna really run it. Yeah, manage to kill one and then another cannon looks like. So totally worth it. But he still has a pretty big army, but he, like the stopping power of his, like he cannot really kill any buildings with his army. And my, I have war huts, and I have tambos, and I have a town center shooting at them, so they had to retreat. And now I'm like, okay, turtle up. Turtle the hell up. Uh, I really need to... Yeah, this is... Now I need to like farm in my base. I still I'm still at age two. Like, and he's catching my villagers. It's really bad. I don't know that was a pretty poor decision. I actually I'm attacking his Ulans with my villagers, which is uh, but I, I, I didn't want to run into my gold mine so I can push so I could show him that I had a gold mine there. Um but yeah, the the plan is really to really turtle here and hope if he brings more cannons that I can maybe spam more Shimus and kind of catch him off guard because he didn't really attend the to his um, cannons last time. And I see here my priest has been like doing nothing for the whole game, <laughs> which is unfortunate. That would have speed up my production a lot. This is a bit busted up. So I'm like, okay, need to age up here. Uh, therefore, I'm I'm not building an army. I'm just like, let's get to 1,200 food and then take the fast age up. Um, and some defensive uh, cards as well. So he's coming with some Ula raid again. It like, looks like, yeah. But he just looks like he just sent it. Uh, sent it uh, into my, my base really, it doesn't really 
Yeah, okay, so he went for my food, uh, wood villagers. But he's running away. Didn't really <laughs> care about my like 20 villagers standing there. And I see I have a gap in my defenses, which I promptly fix. And now I need to build an army. I need to amass a defensive army here. I think I still have two priestesses on the... That's working on the community plaza, so trying to spam out some. Yep, so he's uh, coming here with two cannons. And I only have two uh, two barracks here, or two war huts. So I decided to build another. And uh, this, is look, this looks pretty dire here. Still have uh, some spare jungle bowmen hiding in the base. Okay, so I decide to yeah, like take a around the mountain trip with the uh, machines. Kill some ulans, kite them with my jungle bowmen. He's trying to kill his kill my town center with uh, with my uh, uh, so he sees my my shimus with uh, his uh, ulans and he like parks his uh, uh, yeah, his skirmishers on them so I, I'm not able to, to kill uh, this is very 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 unfortunate right now I'm like oh should I just risk it I'm not sure. I'm keep, keep building Shimus and Jungle Bowman. I'm trying to like sneak through an attack. It looks like one of the cannons might have been killed, so I kill the last cannon and then I back home. So still, now, I mean, he still has no siege power left, really. So it's just a mistake for me to well, it kind of free roam through my base, but he can't really kill my base here. Uh, so he backs off. It looks like really ba bought me some time. Now I'm, I can kill this Ulans, the stragglers. Um, I need to put the second priests on dancing or talking or whatever they do. They used to dance at least. Uh, but now I'm also age 3 and the points are actually evening out. I have more points now, which is uh, pretty strange. Uh, I decided to send in a castle, or the a stronghold as it's called. Chose the Machu Picchu card, because then I can get it for free. And uh, now I have uh, zero gold, gold mines uh, in the proximity, so I like, okay, let's build, uh, build plantations, or uh, what's it called, the, the other... Uh, yeah, whatever, plantations. And um, the the turtle commences. Uh, I'm deciding to, sh to send in this uh, agri agriculture and... Uh, it's like your, your uh, upgrades for uh, plantations uh, and farms are uh, free until like, the fourth age or something. Which is pretty good for the turtling lifestyle. And uh, I, I mean, I have a lot of uh, economy now, and not using it really. But now, I'm like having having the brilliant idea to, okay, maybe I should just raid him into, like, until he goes mad and gives up. That's usually a good tactic when you're, uh, when you're li like, 
I'm so behind. But I'm not really that behind score wise actually. But. And he edges up to uh, age 4 it looks like. I'm sending more Shimus uh, to raid. Uh, see if I can pick something off. He has been pretty quick to respond to my to my uh, raids earlier, but uh, we'll see about how this goes. Yeah, so he's pretty quick seeing my teams there. Don't think I get on it. Yeah, he's Ulan's on my behind me. I'm running, but. I have a second Shimu raid party coming and I'm like, hmm, if I go here and make some like, diversion here, see if it works. Yeah, he has no idea that all of this, uh, this uh, set of wagons is uh, dying. I think he realized now, or soon at least. But that was pretty good uh, trade, I think. This economy took a took a turn for the worse. I have some idle wheels, which is bad. But, uh, that those things happen. I have only five villagers on gold, which is not so good. So I build another uh, plantation or. Uh, I should really know the name. Yeah, uh, Estate. Is the name. Okay. I build uh, more Shimus because if he has cannons, I want to be prepared. And I want to raid even more. So I'm kind of getting pretty confident now. Uh, yeah, it's time to. Time to. Uh, like. Uh, Annoy him even more. I build up an army, more defenses. If you can see the, the score has changed a bit now. So that gives me the, the go go sign for like okay, keep keep on like annoying him. But I don't want to like go out mid my, with my army uh, anywhere. Because I know he has Ulans and I have no spearmen really. I decided to make a third, uh, third estate. Because the gold income is not, it's not that good. I saw he had a couple of doppel soldiers, so maybe he tries to counter them. My my Shimus, but I doubt uh, they will stop and say hello. So right now, just booming, turtle boom, waiting for him to do make a move. I'm still one age behind him, so like maybe maybe I can destroy his factory, maybe I can sneak in, kill some more villagers. And uh, yeah, at least a few more villagers get caught out. He reacts a bit too slow. So I think he starts to get annoyed. Uh, and I find the jackpot here. So he had a few villagers on gold out, which were caught out with my Shimus. Could probably kill, could have killed more. But um, that, that would still make him kind of even more annoyed than he, what he already is, most likely. So my gold uh, income is starting to increase. It's not good at all by any means. But now I see his army. It looks kind of small. A few Ulans, but here comes the skirmishers. I have a couple of wood villagers in a bad position, so I run them away. 
There he is. Uh, I'm trying to get ready with my machines. Here I don't really get a hold of my, uh, my jungle building. I don't know what I'm doing here. Panic totally. Uh, but uh, I have a big army now. I build the army really fast with the, with the priestesses dancing and uh, some cards. So I decide to, okay, maybe I should just uh, attack him a bit. Because I know he has cannons, I know he has something. And yep, yeah, there he is. So I run back. And uh, some way he kind of knew I kind of she was there. But I managed to sneak through and uh, kill his... Uh, all, both of his mortars and uh, his cannons and my shimas yeah, they really just yeah. now he calls the game good game well played he says not fully sure that he will give up because he doesn't give up yet but uh, so attack him further yeah, and then he kind of says the the ongoing theme of the later game. All right, so um, that was um, a good turnaround, I think. So let's look at the post game a bit, and then I can see that uh, my resources are that my resources gathered are a lot better. Apparently I had double the income of, of stuff. Um, yeah, so his, um, that was probably why he lost and in the end he shouldn't, when he had the upper hand he should have just pushed.